Breaking news, Alabama front and center tonight. It's where we start. I'm Kenesha Dees. Inmate Kenneth Smith was put to death by nitrogen hypoxia, a method never tested on humans, and the first time an execution like this has been carried out in the U.S. Smith was put to death at approximately 8.25 p.m. at the William C. Holman Correctional Facility in Atmore. He was convicted for the 1988 murder for hire of a preacher's wife from Sheffield. And according to Smith's spiritual advisor, Reverend Jeff Hood, his final meal was a T-bone steak, hash browns, toast and eggs, all covered in A1 sauce. The nitrogen gas method gained national attention around the world and critics have called it cruel and experimental. This is the first new method of execution used in 42 years. We spoke to one lawyer who broke down why this method of execution was chosen by the state. They picked it because they were having so many problems with their, with their lethal injection executions. Two executions in Alabama uh, lethal injection executions failed in the sense that the inmates survived both in 2022. That's extraordinary. In this country's history, there have been only five failed lethal injection executions during which the inmates survived. In other words, they lived after that. Before 2009, that has had never happened. It's only because of this experimentation with lethal injection that really started full throttle in 2009. All right, and Governor Kay Ivey releasing a statement following this execution, sharing, quote, the execution was lawfully carried out by nitrogen hypoxia, the method previously requested by Mr. Smith as an alternative to lethal injection. At long last, Mr. Smith got what he asked for, and this case can finally be put to rest. I pray that Elizabeth Senate's family can receive closure after all these years dealing with that great loss, end quote.